time. <laughs> so, so I got to ask you, we were already talking about the whole thing. Yeah. And you were joking right here because I was so honest. I actually am getting married in here. And don't invite a crown. We're actually in this trouble as it is. Wow, great. So we're sitting there looking at your wedding and this is what I'm yeah. Isn't that great? I mean, I was just saying one of the things about the show that I think is so wonderful is it isn't a supernatural show. It's a show about the real world from a different point of view. And as a, as a result of that, by skewing the perspective just a little bit on the real world, you get to play in a deeper pool than you do necessarily in other places. You know, more mythical about stuff. I think it's great. Yeah. It was one of those episodes where we got there, uh, we had you know, 50 or 60 extras, and a lot of them were more, you know, when trouble comes in, and that it was an absolute bang. But it's really, guys, it's was handling difficult, complicated, multifaceted days, and he got us through it. I just want to have to get out. How are you going to do that? How far are they going with it? Yeah. I had to ask. I was like, is this really going to happen? Because I don't want yeah. to know too far in advance, but like an episode, I was like, are you going to act like you're going to get to it? And I'm like, I'm going to get to it. Just barely before like everything falls apart. Here's yeah, no, we, I mean, there was that episode where we talked about, I only remember one of the words, so here's the deal, you know, and, and we all went through this whole thing, and I can't remember which episode it was, but, uh, I said, okay, it's time for the birds and the bean and to talk. And basically, if you have one parent is and one parent is in the best, and there's like a 50% chance of having a best. If both parents are one vessel, then it will be that vessel. But if two parents are one vessel and a different vessel, you get a four parent, which is this, I don't know what that is, a made of, you know, it's a grimish word. But if we had a baby, it would almost certainly be a vessel, but it would be called a four hair show, which is yeah, some kind of mosh. Well, you know, as Russell said in uh, the little video, the wedding video, you know, is it going to be a blue pot with red hair or a fox pot with really big teeth? You know? I would imagine it, I mean, <laughs> you know, as soon as I say that, I'm like, of oh, course, cool. yeah, maybe, you know, maybe not. But I'm sure they'll get in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Babies are great in theory, but then you get them on set. <laughs> it's hard for production. Sasha has said that you are both going to be in the range. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Um, we decided, I haven't been in a play in a really long time. I love theater. small time, some of it's sort of medium time, but I've never really done a big, it's just unbelievable to hear me say this because I've done so much theater, but I've never done like a big play a big regional theater. I mean, I have, but not a big part. You know, as a kid, I did some small parts of some Shakespeare shows in Ohio, some regional stuff, but I'm very excited about it. I think it'll be fun for Portland to have two grim actors on stage. Maybe three if we can find a way to make it right But Sasha and I are definitely. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a great play. And when you have a year's time, you can get so far beyond the words, you don't even, you're just like, you know, and you're flying. It's really fun. It's very different than like getting a play, rehearsing in four weeks, putting it up, and doing it. But having a year in advance, you can get so deep in your which is the most fun.